It is coming down. After years of talk and a strong push from a state representative, state leaders voted to remove a plaque from its spot at the Texas Capitol. KVU's Christy Millward tells us why. This is the plaque that everyone's been talking about. You can see they put it up in the 1950s. A lot of people don't even know this plaque is back here in the hallway by the elevators. But other people say it has to go, and now it will. The January 11th to 19th. After years of discussion, the vote only took moments. A motion is that the plaque be removed from the wall in its current location in the Capitol. State leaders, including Governor Greg Abbott, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, and Speaker of the House Dennis Bonin voted unanimously to take down the Children of Confederacy Creed plaque. All the, those in favor say aye. 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 I was there watching like the public. Representative Eric Johnson of Dallas has been fighting for this day for more than a year. This particular fight is over today and I'm happy about that. He and several others argued that it's incorrect since it reads that the Civil War was, quote, not a rebellion nor its underlying cause to sustain slavery. 60 years, that, that pipe was up for 60 years in our state capitol and it was false from the day it was put up. It never should have gone up in the first place. There were a few people at the State Preservation Board meeting who tell me they've asked the members to leave the plaque where it is. I believe it is important to keep all of the historical uh, plaques, monuments, memorials, paintings, and so forth in the Capitol. Martha Hartzog has lived in Austin for more than 40 years and believes the plaque can be a, quote, teaching moment. We should put explanatory plaques on all those monuments and memorials explaining the history of why they were put up there and what the current thinking is today about them. For now, the plaque is a place where people are taking pictures, some even camping out, hoping to capture a new page for the history books when the plaque comes down. So when is it coming down? A representative for the State Preservation Board tells me they don't have a date or time yet that are actively working on a plan. He also tells me they don't know where it's going to go at this time. Reporting at the Capitol, Christy Millward, KVU News.